Hi, in this video, I would like to show you the Listing Pro WordPress directory listing themes backend. The first thing we will look at is the listings. Here, you can add new listing or you can view and manage previous listings that have been posted. Like uh, you are familiar with the WordPress posts and pages. So when you add a new listing, you can start with the name, description, and tag, tagline, Google address. It can be picked from the Google geolocation. Uh, and then the other contact details such as email, phone number, and social websites, uh, URLs can be added here. You can assign a price group to the listing. You can select a plan uh, for the listing right here as you have more privilege than a regular user. You can make the listing claimed or not claimed by default. You can add FAQs in time. The front end submission form is much prettier than the back end, of course but you will have more features and um, uh, less restrictions. So you can of course add tags, keywords, and you can specify particular location as well as uh, categories. So for categories, you can only select one primary category like this or switch between any other primary categories, but you won't be able to select multiple categories uh, as primary, but you are able to select primary categories and multiple subcategories. We have added this feature based on our research and best practice for a directory. There was a lot of thought put into these features to restrict between multiple categories Next, we'll look at how to add new categories. You can add simply uh, go to categories from the left and start adding category name, slug. You can assign a parent category if there is one, description, image, uh, image, and icon icon for, the, uh, for that particular category. You can see right here, there is an icon and image assigned to specific category. You can also specify features for that particular categories. Multiple features can be selected right from here. And these features you will need to create under features uh, tab here. Uh, once you add all the features, it will be available for you to assign to any specific category. Next, we'll look at tags. Tags and keywords are same so you can create multiple tags and keywords and uh, this. the next thing is locations locations can be added here we are further improving uh, the, this location section where uh, you will be able to select a primary location and secondary location for example right now you can list cities as well as you can create um, a, a state or country and the, then list a sub uh, location. Uh, but for now, this option is uh, being further improved uh, and enhanced for uh, front end viewing. Next, we'll look at the form fields. Form fields is a section where uh, you can add custom fields. Uh, such as a description box or it could be a checkbox and as well as um, multi checkbox radio select and so on so you can create all kind of custom fields that can be added to the front end listing submission we are further enhancing this to improve the experience uh, front end and back end the next thing we will look at is the pricing. The pricing 
plans are for the listing submissions. You, you can create different type of uh, business listing plans where user can, uh, based on its requirement, can select the free or the paid version of the listing submission. And you can limit the, the uh, features based on the plan that was selected. And this can this is being further enhanced based on the feedback we are getting. Next, we will look at ads. We have a built-in ads section. This is ads management section where user can create and manage ads for the listings. Um, so you can create a plan which can be selected by a business owner from front end. For example, you have uh, this you have this ad running right now. Which is assigned to Gray Mat Te Technical Services and the package is ten dollars and this is an ad listing uh, this is a promoted listing rather and it will appear on the front end with ad symbol next to it you can add more ads uh, here and based on the package you want to assign to a particular listing you can select the listing and assign uh, one or multiple um, uh, ads type basically and you can save and the pack the ads will run or the or the user can do it by himself by promoting by paying uh, through their dashboard and it will automatically start uh, the ads campaign for them next we'll look at the reviews This is the list of all the reviews being submitted by the users on on all the listings you can see. So you can manage from here. You can delete or accept uh, or remove based on um, the listing owner's feedback. If there is something really genuinely wrong with the the review left by a user, or it's spam, or some images that are inappropriate that can be removed easily from here by the admin. Next, it will look at invoices. The invoices can be managed here for different uh, payment gateways. The, there are different types of invoices, the invoices for ads as well as invoices for listings. Next, we'll look at claims. All the claim requests from front end will be managed by the user, uh, uh, the admin user from back end here. The user has uh, ability to accept or reject uh, the claim request. For example, this one is currently pending. You can, after reviewing the risk request and making sure this is an authorized uh, person who is requesting to claim his business listing and you can approve and update so these are the options specific to listing pro uh, listing management ads management review management and uh, invoices and claims management there are more features coming in for this section plus the other thing that you can do from here is of course your Uh, visual Composer. Visual Composer is already built in to manage your pages. Not the listing submission page or the category page or the search result page, but pages like home um, and about us and so on. But you have the uh, possibility for importing or adding elements 
of the listing pro elements such as uh, you can see listing pro column element listing post and so on by using the uh, custom visual composer elements that are built inside for example listing pro uh, add element listing pro and you can see all the elements associated to listing pro theme so hope this video helps and we will update and add more features as we go along thank you for watching